Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given logarithmic equation by compression method. And we will be using this logarithmic rule and we're going to be applying this one in our original equation. By just comparing this one, let's call this part an A, this part B, and this part of logarithm c so wherever you see minus you're going to divide them so this is what this we're going to compress it so this simply is going to become log of x plus one on the top and whenever you see minus sign you divide so x is going to be at the bottom and over here you see again minus sign that means it's going to be this part c is going to be at the bottom as well at the denominator and you have a base 7 over here equal to 0 let's go ahead and distribute the denominator so I can write log of x plus 1 on the top and once you distribute x times x become x square plus 9x with the base 7 equal to zero and now we want to convert this logarithmic equation to an exponential one by using this fact if you look at it if you compare over here this is our base b this whole part is our a and this right hand side is c and we want to convert it into an exponential equation so i can write as x plus 1 over x square plus 9 x equals to 7 power 0 and as you recall 7 power 0 is 1 I can write as x plus 1 over x square plus 9 x equal to 7 power 0 is 1, isn't it? So does it make any difference? I can put 1 divided by 1. Now I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to crisscross this way and this way. So just go ahead and cross multiply to get rid of the fraction. So if you cross multiply this way, 1 times x plus 1 is going to be x plus 1. And if you go the other way around, 1 times x squared plus 9x is going to give you x squared plus 9x. Now I want you to move everything on the right hand side. So we left with 0 on this side. On the left we got x squared plus 9x. This positive x becomes negative x when you drag it on the other side and positive 1 become negative 1. Let's go ahead and simplify it. So this is going to become x squared plus 8x minus 1. And does it make any difference if I put a 0 on this side? None whatsoever. Use this fact. If 0 equals to a, then there's no difference if you put a equal to 0. So we got this quadratic equation and we're going to solve this thing for x. And here we're going to be using this quadratic formula. Just, I just put it down over here on the right hand side. And over here a turns out to be because the leading coefficient a is 1. So a equals to 1, b equals to 8, c equals to negative 1 on this one. Let's go ahead and plug it in this one. So that's going to give us x equal to minus b means negative 8 plus minus b squared means 8 squared minus 4 times a is 1, c is negative 1. Everything is divided by 2 times 1. So far so good. Let's simplify it. Negative 8 plus or minus 8 squared is 64 and this become negative and negative become positive 4 
divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So let's go further. Negative 8 plus minus square root of 68 divided by 2. So let me go ahead and simplify this part. Square root of 68 right up here. I'm going to put down radical of 68 could be written as 4 times 17, isn't it? And then you can break them down. You can put 4 and 17. And now square root of 4 is 2 square root of 17. So wherever you see this part, I'm going to just simply replace it 2 times so I'm going to write down negative 8 plus minus 2 square root of 17 divided by 2. And I can just simply put it like a this way, isn't it? So now see what happens over here. 2 goes into 8 uh, 4 times. So I can write negative this could be written as negative 4 plus minus this 2 and 2 cancels out we got square root of 17 and thus our solution set turns out to be negative 4 plus square root of 17 once you put a plus sign and the other solution is going to be negative 4 minus when you split the other sign square root of 17 that's our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.